Okay, this is the next stage um, of joining the two semicircles together like this. So once you've cut them to length, and you can cut one and then cut the other one to fit it perfectly. I've cut a circle out of this piece of MDF and the circumference is the exact same um, size as the outer circumference of the circle. So I've squeezed that in there, planed up the lower side here so it sits flush and level on this um, piece of veneer chipboard. And then I've put a clamp here just to hold it down to make sure it doesn't flex when the drill goes in. Um, I've cut away a notch and then reinforced the gap um, of the form uh, with this piece of oak. Um, and now I'm ready to drill. So the principle here is uh, I'm going to drill one pin, one hole here, and then put a pin through it, and then the other pin from here, and uh, those will cross. Okay, uh, the idea is um, once you've drilled a hole, one going this way and the other going this way at different heights obviously so they don't uh, interfere with each other and then you drive the pins in from the inside and uh, that'll hold it flush and then uh, clean it up um, and it'll be strong enough just to hold it there so I'll show you some finished ones now here we go, we've got a whole stack coming up. I need a 24 of these. Um, you know, you can see the holes on the outside. And I've cleaned up some of them, like there's one that's been cleaned up. There, oops, there. There's one that still needs to be done. Um, there's one that's been cleaned up. Haven't cleaned up the top edge yet, like so. There's one that's uh, done here, just done it, not been cleaned up. So that's it.